We really knew that something was shifting in us. Our life with the children, uh, their schooling system, the way we work, the way we live, uh, everything that we do in our life uh, it needs to have thought and has to have, has to be justified to wh why we do what we do. How we consume, that was one of the biggest things. Today I have water. <clears throat> I was introduced to permaculture. And this was my uh, light in what I really needed in my life to, to fill the things and uh, passions I had for, for the nature. And working with the nature and setting permanent uh, systems in place to not be maintained and not disturb ecosystems uh, as we do, as we have for so long. I don't know how many years have been, but... Ne ha più di cento sicuramente. Everything that is natural arrives to be soil and uh, people uh, have forgotten that. It's not anyone's fault, I think. We've just gone a bit of a wrong direction somewhere, but it's coming back and I feel it. As soon as we let go of things that we find so comfortable and uh, easy, and uh, that, that's not what life is about. It's, uh, it's difficult at times, but, and uncomfortable, and cold <laughs> in the mountains, uh, but we have to deal with that, and that's all good for us. That's uh, not something we should be looking to cancel out in our lives. Uh, the discomfort is really living. As the old saying says, you know, the answer is always in the garden. It's true. And there's so much to learn from this unorganized way of living. We concentrate on one thing that's important, we prioritize over it. And the other thing, it's okay to leave it, to grow and the grass can do what it wants. Coming in more to the summer, you see very high grass and, and short, short paths where you can really touch again with uh, a rural part of nature, I suppose, as it were. And basically, again, rewilding and, and letting whatever plants and weeds and grasses want to grow here. I find that really important, not only for the ground, but also for us to be able to sit amongst um, that kind of environment. Just be amongst it and embrace it because uh, it's really good for you. <laughs> It's about as natural as the medicine can get. The dream is to be providing Mandali with, uh, with, with food, in, uh, with, with a build of a greenhouse and microherbs and different kinds of um, ways of growing in and out the house. This is, this is really the big dream towards how Mandali is going to go forward, how we as people need to go forward and uh, this, is, uh, this is our passion.